Neighbors, look! There's one with a hump, and one who can jump, and one who is well a little bit plump. Sixty-four, sixty-four, sixty-four Zule. Some like it hot, and some like it chilly, and some like it both ways, and that's a bit silly. Sixty-four, sixty-four, sixty-four Zule. Some are friendly, some are scary, but one thing is sure, not one is ordinary. of Gary the Dromedary. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Lucy. Lucy. We've got a visitor tonight. Where? Over here. Hello. <gasps> How do you do? I'm fine. Pleased to meet you. You must be Lucy. Yes. And you are... Dennis. Dennis the Dromedary. Do you know any good bedtime stories? We always have a bedtime story at this time. A story? A story? Now let me think. Have you ever been to a faraway place? I've been to Spain with Mum and Dad. Is Spain far away? Quite far away. But let me tell you about my nephew Gary, who made a journey far beyond the horizon. That is a long way. I used to live in a faraway desert with my nephew Gary, who was very clever and always asking questions. Uncle Dennis! Yes, Gary? Uncle Dennis! Is the desert always yellow? Yes, Gary. but for a few blades of green grass. Hmm, Uncle Dennis, is the sky always empty? Usually, Gary, unless there's a fluffy white cloud passing by. Uncle Dennis, what's beyond the horizon? More desert and more sand, I suppose. Uncle Dennis. Gary, why don't you go for a little walk? I've got a lot of sand to look at before tea time and all these questions, well, to be honest, they're getting a bit tiresome. So Gary started walking to the horizon. He walked and walked and walked, but still the horizon seemed as far away as ever. Gary thought it was playing tricks on him. Then he saw a shimmering blue ribbon in the far distance. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hi, I'm Gary. I'm Kevin. This is Toby. And I'm Doris. Do you want to play with us? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Then they stretched out for a rest in the warm sunshine. How wonderful! I never thought I would find such an amazing place beyond the horizon. 
There are plenty more exciting things to say further upstream. Huh? Where are you going? I'm going to do some more exploring upstream. Bye! Carrie? Yes? Before you go, we've made you a present. It's a hump sack. It fits on your hump. See? A perfect fit. You can put the things you find on your journey in here. This flower is to remind you of me. And here's a leaf to remind you of me. And a silver shell. Wow! Thanks, guys. Well, I must be on my way. Bye! Back home in the desert, I was looking at some sand and missing Gary a lot. Gary walked and walked and walked until he reached the big boulders. I'm Gary the Dromedary. Hi. I'm having an adventure. That's nice. Why are you bashing these boulders? No reason. I just like doing it. Do you want to go? No thanks. Suit yourself. I've got an idea. Let's build a castle with all these bits of boulder. Ronald was very pleased with his castle, and to say thank you, he gave Gary a boulder as a souvenir. Mmm, it looks a bit big to me. Here, take this one. Thanks. Well, I must be going. There's a lot more world to see. Bye. Bye. Gary had been away a long time, and back in the desert I was beginning to wonder where he was and what he was doing. Oh. Gary walked and walked and walked, until he reached the Blue Mountain. Wow! Sand! White sand! <laughs> sand is yellow and hot, snow is white and cold, this is snow, and I'm the snip snip bird. Do you know what a snowball is? No. You do now. Hey, <laughs> this is fun! Oh, I wish Uncle Dennis could see this snow. <gasps> oh no! It must be nearly tea time. Uncle Dennis will be wondering where I am. Wait, Gary. Here, take this snowball as a souvenir. Bye! You're late. Sorry, Uncle Dennis, but I've had an amazing adventure. You're still late. Look! I've brought back some presents. Hmm. They're really pretty. Uh, anything else beyond the horizon? There are rivers and trees and rocks and mountains and, best of all, snow. Snow? I've never heard of snow. It's it's white and sort of like sand, only it's water and it's not hot. It's, uh... Ew. Now, what did the snip-snip bird call it? Ah, yes, cold! Well, uh, let's see the snow then. Mm. It's gone. I suppose... I'll have to go with you to the Blue Mountain to see the snow for myself. Oh, Uncle Dennis, that would be brilliant! When shall we go? Tomorrow? Tomorrow it is. Hey, 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 hey! You can meet all my friends then! Doris? Toby? Kevin? The 
very next day we set off together to travel to the Blue Mountain. You walked and walked and walked. But now I think it's time for bed. Good night. <sighs> and thank you for the story, Dennis. Sweet dromedary dreams. <laughs> <laughs>